I'd like to take a look at the integration between Beyond Trust Password Safe, our privileged account and session management solution, with one login for single sign on and for authentication. So let's first take a look at the setup that we have. We have an Active Directory domain set up in this test environment, and I have a number of users in here. One of them is in the development organization, it's Carolyn James. And if we take a look at the details for Carolyn, we can see that Carolyn's account name is carolyn.james at btu.cloud, and the short name here is btlab. So we'll be using this throughout the demonstration. So that's the Active Directory user uh, that we're tied to. Carolyn has also been provisioned in for access in Beyond Trust Password Safe. So I'm logged into Password Safe as an administrator. I'm going to go and take a look at the role based access. And we should find that Carolyn James is one of the access group is in one of the access groups for uh, one login single sign on. While we're waiting for that to come up, I'm going to take a look at uh, also logged in on the administrative console for one login. Carolyn James has also been provisioned in one login with some applications. And we'll see what her applications look like in just a minute. So while we're waiting for that to come up to see her results there, I'm going to switch over to an end user machine that we're logged on already as carolyn.james. And her user experience is that she's going to go to a browser and open up the one login console. Log in as Carolyn. And we can see that we have a couple of applications that are already defined for her. Carolyn has a couple of applications that are already defined for her. One of them is Beyond Trust Password Safe. The other one is Beyond Trust Remote Support. So let's go take a look and see how she is provisioned in Beyond Trust Password Safe we'll see that she is provisioned in one of the access groups here uh, for one login users along with Dylan and Michelle. We also have the ability to give permissions. In this case, we're giving permissions to analytics and reporting, and we're also going to give access to uh, request some accounts. As password safe is a way to retrieve credentials and retrieve credentialed sessions. And here we're giving access to for this demo purposes, all managed accounts so that we can demonstrate all various kinds. And we are making Carolyn a requester with a default access policy. So that's our setup in password safe and uh, our setup in one login. If we go and take a look at Carolyn here, we're gonna go and take a look at the activity that's particular to Carolyn. And this will be a log that's specific to the user. Uh, you can see that yesterday I was doing some work in here with some other use cases. And we can see that 10 minutes ago, Carolyn logged into one login. So I'm going to utilize single sign-on from one login through their portal to log on to password save as Carolyn James. We'll see the redirect happen. And through single sign-on, we'll see Carolyn log into Beyond Insight. At this point, we gave her rights to analytics and reporting. We also gave her access to various things in the password safe console. And in this way, she can reach those other resources. So for instance, we could launch a Linux session. Yes, we'll do that. And what this is allowing Carolyn to do is to log on as this managed account that we can see over here, logging on as an mdavis U admin account on the managed server L server 01. If we do an ID, we can see that in fact, mdavis U admin is the user. And if we look at hostname, L server 01. So in this use case, Carolyn has logged on to one login with the app, a single sign on. She has also been granted access to password safe within password safe has been given rights to these privileged accounts, and she was able to log in with a session and use them without having the credentials 
for those privileged accounts revealed to her. Now, if we go back to the administrative console in one login, we can see that Carolyn James logged into password safe. And if we look at the details of that, we can see that it was initiated by one login via SAML. And in fact, if we go over here to the administrative console of Beyond Insight and we take a look at the user audit log, we should also see a similar entry there. Uh, login with uh, Carolyn James. Logged in as one of the one login users, and the SSO username is Carolyn.James. The authentication type is SAML. So there we have the authentication type. Now we also have another way for Carolyn to do this. And we'll go ahead and close that session. She also has the ability to open up RDP sessions this way, or even application sessions. Uh, we could open up a, an application window here, or rather a, an RDP desktop connection here as administrator to app01, which is an application server. You can see it's first time running this on this machine, so it's not been set up. But it's using standard tools using standard PuTTY tools, we're using standard remote desktop connection tools, and we are in fact logged on as App01 as the administrator on that box. Go ahead and log out. And we'll go ahead and log out here. And what I'll do is bring up, a, and I'm going to log on again. And this time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to log on to the web console directly. And you'll notice that instead of launching this from the SAML single sign-on portal, I have actually configured password safe to use one login as an authentication source. And so I'm going to log in here as Carolyn James. And Carolyn is part of the domain, so let's go over there. And in this case, it is Carolyn James, the Active Directory user, that is authenticating. However, we have set up authentication mechanism through Radius, and I'll show that to you over here. And there's our login with Carolyn James. We see we had the logout, and we have the login, and we can see that the authentication type is Radius Authentication Service to this host. And if we go and take a look at that configuration, we'll see that this uh, multi-factor authentication, although we only collected password in this particular case, we didn't set up an additional device, so single factor still works, whether it's single or multi-factor. It's configured to go to one login. And in fact, while we're waiting that for that to come up, uh, there's one login. This is our host. Uh, we're forwarding the username and password. We've set up the shared secret that is defined over here in one login as well as an authentication type. And if I refresh our activity log, we'll see that Carolyn James has been logged into password safe. And we have seen that been authenticated by Beyond Trust. And we can see that the authentication method is password. And so this is through the radius authentication mechanism through one login.